Hi everybody, we are moving on to the next section after the last little bit about trig. Those last couple sections have kind of blown us away and have been a little bit of more of the challenging sections of the entire book. So uh, this one actually uh, is more of the same. However, if you feel good about uh, the, the trig work we did in the last unit, this should be no problem. It's you just using basically sine, cosine, and tangent skills. So we're going to use angles of elevation and angles of depression. Text section, chapter uh, chapter 8, section 4. Here we go. Angles of elevation, elevation and depression. All right. So you're standing on the ground. You look up to see an airplane. The angle that your eyes make from the horizontal... All right, there's the horizontal line. Let me make it a little brighter and prettier. Ooh, purple. Okay, your eyes are right here making a horizontal line, but they look up. That's an angle of elevation. Easy enough, the angle between the horizontal and the sight line to something high is called an angle of elevation. All right, an angle of depression, meanwhile, Hey, we got the airplane pilot. His eyes are at this level, and he's looking down. Therefore, any change between the level looking down is called an angle of depression. Easy enough. Now, one thing we ought to know is that you're looking up at this guy. He's looking down at you. We got two parallel lines, horizontal lines cut by a transversal, and that means these two angles are congruent. The angle of elevation and the angle of depression, in this case, are both the same angle or same measurement. All right, now, what kind of problems go with this kind of thing? Here we go. You're on the roof of the school. I don't know why you just are. You look up on the top of the Yuma Tower, you see, aren't these cute birds? Yeah, I thought so, too. Uh, okay, so you look up from, from Yuma High School up to see the birds. You look down and you see a rabbit. Now, tell me, which of these four angles, one, two, three, four, is an angle of elevation, which are angles of depression, and which angles are congruent? Answer coming shortly. Ready? Here it comes. All right. Angle 2 is the angle of elevation from you to the birds. Angle 2, angle of elevation. Yeah, I meant to write. Angle 2, angle of elevation from you going up to the birds. Uh, clear those. Go. Angle 4 is an angle of elevation. My rabbit disappeared. Angle 4, angle of elevation. There was a rabbit here. I don't know where he went. Okay. And. Okay. There's our rabbit. Uh, angle four is an angle of elevation from the rabbit up to you. Okay. Uh, angle. One and three. Are angles of depression. Okay. Angle one is an angle of depression from the birds. Oh, I do know where the rabbits went. There we go. There we go. There they are. All right. Angle one and three are angles of uh, depression. Angles two and four are angles of elevation. The ones that are congruent. One is congruent to two. And three would be congruent to four. One and two would have to be congruent. Three and four would have to be congruent. All right, fair enough. Let's move on. Uh-oh, kite got stuck in a tree. You walk 25 yards from the kite, and you look up, and so you are 25 yards from the kite. You look up, and you want to know how high is the kite. How are you going to solve that problem? Answer coming right now. All right. Draw your little your, your uh, triangle, and use Sokotoa to find height. All right, so the tan of 32 equals h over 25, opposite over adjacent. 
and then use your math to find out. You can follow along with it now. So the height of your kite is the height of your triangle plus whatever height your eyes are at. Good enough. All right. And you know what? We're done. I'll see you tomorrow.